I've lost count, Tari. I've lost count of the number of voice notes I've left on your phone. Since you left Benin City with us, SARS disappeared into nowhere. A hundred, maybe two hundred voice messages. Tara, I've lost count, but I will not stop. I can't stop, my dear sister. Last week I was told that your voicemail box is now full. So now at least I know I'm talking to myself. But, but I feel the universe will somehow deliver my message to you. Wherever you are. Where are you? Where are you, my dear sister? Linda? Yes, that's me. Okay, so um starting your trip now. Cool. How was your day? to know, seeing as he really stressed you out today. Huh? Who's, who stressed me out? Oh, your boss. You know, with all the extra work he dumped on your table today. Now look what time you're done. And how do you know this? Long story. Were you by chance at my office today? Oh, no, actually. This is my first trip to the mainland. So then how do you know about my day and... You know what, never mind. Just focus on getting me to my destination safely inside. Good. I think you shouldn't go to that place. Shouldn't go where? Oh, to your destination. Um, what does my destination have to do with you or what you think? <sighs> Nothing really. Exactly. So please, can you kindly focus on getting me to my destination peacefully and quietly? Because this conversational thing you're trying to do is clearly not working out. That's what I'm doing. I don't mean to be that person, but I really need to tell you something. Tell me what? Please allow me to take you home, all right? I won't charge you for the trip. What are you talking about? Like, can you please just kindly focus on getting me to my destination? Like... Uh... See, I really hate to do this, but I really have to warn you. Warn me about what? 
about an impending incident that will probably make you more upset than you are right now. <laughs> what can possibly upset me more than what is Don't actually? go to your boyfriend's place tonight! Why shouldn't I? And how do you even know that I'm going to my boyfriend's place? Like, who are you? My name is Dan, and I'm just a cabbie. No, you are not. You are a stalker. A stalker? Yes. No, I'm not a stalker. You are a stalker and you've clearly been following me. If not, how do you know about my boss, about my boyfriend, about, about where I'm even going to? Like, why are you even on my case? Listen, lady. I've never met you before. I've never followed you anywhere. I never even knew where you worked. Okay? So definitely or clearly, I'm not a stalker. I just thought it would be very unfair of me not to forewarn you. See, look, I don't know you and I don't know what you're getting at. And first of all, I'm still going to my boyfriend's house and going there would not get me upset because I have been, he has been my boyfriend for the past two years and we're not in the business of upsetting each other. I don't know what you're getting at or what game you're trying to play, but honestly, leave me out of it. Can you just kindly focus on getting me to my destination peacefully? And if that's too much to ask, please just stop the car here. You can stop now. I'll drop here. Listen, that won't be necessary. Okay? We already come a long way. Okay? One more thing before I shut my mouth. I would advise you that if you really want to have a boyfriend or you really want to still be in a relationship by this time tomorrow, please do not go to your boyfriend's house. Okay? Because it will definitely end in tears. And you know this how? I just know. Stop the car. Oh, uh, we're almost there. We're not there. Stop the car now! Listen, I, I have pepper I, spray in my bag. And if you do not stop, I will pepper spray you. I wasn't trying to. Stop this car now! I wasn't trying to. Ah! Yay! Madman, it's me you're trying to hypnotize Abby. You are crazy, only. You are mad. What the hell? Ah! Mm. Mm. Where's my tower? Ah! Where's my tower? My handkerchief. Ah. Sorry for pepper spraying you. Just please forgive me. I'm really sorry. I'm Daniel. Please. Forgive me, Daniel. How was I supposed to know? I can't believe that everything you see were saying was true. I've been with this man for the past two years. I 
I'm taking trips with him. Even with my friend. And I never suspected anything. <laughs> I can't believe that I'm losing the two most important people in my life. Then don't lose them. How? What do you mean? I saw them. They were both naked in bed. Find it in your heart to forgive her. Why her and not him? Your friend had financial struggles. And she called your boyfriend. You know? told him about it and he invited her over. He made the money available but she couldn't take it until she fulfilled just one condition he had, which was to sleep with him. Bear in mind that all these years, all this while, your boyfriend has been hitting on her, trying to get her to sleep with him but she has always said no. But this time, she was desperate because her brother... Because her little brother lies sick in the hospital as we speak. Yeah, her brother is sick. And he is in the hospital. Like, I don't even understand. How do you know all this? Dan? How do you know about me? How do you know about people I care about? Who the hell are you? My name is Dan, and I'm just a cabbie. But I have the ability to know things about people. You see, these things, some of them are never even planned or wished for. But if you come in close proximity to me, I can see your heart. I can see your soul, and I can read your mind. A few years ago, I discovered that I have a gift, a special kind of psychic 